Hi Jackie, we're going to do your personal um, in-depth reading. We're doing the past, present, future, which is two for the past, three for the present, four for the future on the tarot cards, and then two oracle cards. Thank you Holy Spirit for bringing through a message for Jackie at this time. For the highest good of everyone in that timeline, you know all their names. Thank you for bringing through messages that will bring about the most healing and love for everyone in that timeline. Okay, so there's one for the past. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so there's your two for the past. Thank you, Holy Spirit, highest holy angels, and ancestors of the highest white light. Thank you, Spirit Guide Team, for bringing through the best message possible for Jackie at this time to bring about the best possible outcomes, the most possible love and healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I get one more for the present? Thank you. All right, and now can we get four for the future from this deck for Jackie and everyone in that timeline? You know all the names. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for allowing my voice to bring healing to everyone who hears it my face to everyone who sees it, and my energy to everyone who feels it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can I get four cards for the future outcomes for the highest good of all? Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anything else for future? Two more cards, maybe? Hmm. It's getting warm in here. You want these two? Okay. All right, there is the four tarot, and now let's get the two oracles for the future position, and then we will read from the book on everything. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing out two cards for the future timeline message for the highest good of everyone in Jackie's timeline. For the most possible love and healing to show up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's one. Oh, wow, huh? You want this one? All right. Awesome. Let's see what we've got here. So. In the past position, we have the Explorer of Fire on the shadow side and the Guardian of Earth also on the shadow side. We have in the present position, the Guardian of Air on the shadow side. Oh, whoops, that card came back. The canoe in the upright. And the four of air in the upright. Ooh. Then, in the future, we've got ten of fire in the upright. The seven of water in the shadow. The magician in the upright. The ace of fire in the upright. Highest holy angel of healing, Raphael. And then we've got 
the Life Force New Beginnings card oracle for the future. Now let's see what the book has to say about all of these. We got the Explorer of Fire in the reverse. First up, which says, Find the still center in the midst of the fire dance. Beware of a volatile temper or situation. Someone may be headstrong or lack self-discipline, making them more reckless than courageous. There could be a tendency to get charged up about something only to let the fire fizzle when something or someone else comes along. Is the fastest or most exciting way necessarily the best way to move forward? The affirmation, I dare to be transformed by the flames of passion and creativity. And then we got the guardian of earth also in the shadow side for your past position. I'll hold it in the upright though. And it says, someone is being extremely conservative. Oh, excessively conservative when it comes to money matters. Perhaps there is a reluctance to share the hard earned harvest with others. Or there may be trouble staying on a budget with overindulgent spending. Care is needed to maintain good health, especially by eating healthier food. This is an important time to ground and center and reconnect with the earth. The affirmation, I value good health and financial security and enjoy providing for myself and my family. All right. So next we got the guardian. Let's see here. Put that over there so I don't get it mixed up. Guardian of air is in the shadow side. And this is a present situation. These three cards will be your present. What needs to be said? What is preventing communication? Too many words or too few may be confusing the issue at hand. Someone who is very influential may be overly judgmental. It is easy to be critical of others and care should be taken that wit does not become biting sarcasm. Tact and clarity are needed. The right word at the right moment is a precious jewel. The affirmation, I declare my own truth with candor and clarity. And then the second card for the present position is the canoe in the upright, number seven, which says, stay focused on your path. It is time to stay focused on your path and to exercise self-discipline as you work toward your goal. Set aside anything extraneous that would distract you or keep you from completing your task. What is your goal? What do you want to accomplish? This may apply to your life in the everyday world, pursuing a course of study, a career goal, a fitness plan, or a creative project. It may also apply to your inner life. Perhaps you are in a recovery program or are healing from a trauma. Whatever your goal, set your intention, take your first steps, and your guides and allies will be at your side to help you on your way. Be of great courage. No matter how hard it seems, you have what it takes to succeed. Now, this one has soul lesson themes. Focus, determination, self-discipline, self-reliance, independence, initiation, rite of passage. So you may be currently going through these things. Working towards your goal, finding or creating your place in the world, testing yourself, endurance, success, victory, triumph, an outward journey in the world that reflects an inner journey of change. Now the journal questions for you to write down and ponder. What goal do I need to focus on? What path am I on? Where or how do I need to exercise self-discipline in my life? How can I move forward with confidence? Am I making progress on my journey? What does success mean to me? What will come of testing myself? How am I being initiated and into what? What rite of passage does this initiation signify? When or how in my life do I feel victorious or triumphant? What or who is helping me on my journey? Have I found my place in the world or am I still seeking it? The affirmation, by focusing on my goal, success is mine. And the last one for your present current situation is the four of air in the upright. So this one says, ooh, a Charlie horse in my left foot. It is time to create a sacred space for rest, retreat, prayer, and meditation. Take time out to dream, incubate your ideas, and get your mind clear. Keep your boundaries firm and strong. If your nest falls apart, the incubating energy inside is destroyed. During your time out, you may want to keep your special place hidden and safe. 
Be wary of predators, including inner ones, who may be ready to snatch away your time alone, your personal space, or your ideas. The affirmation, I take time to get away to my own little nest where I incubate new ideas and dreams. Now, the first card out for the future is the Ten of Fire in the upright. And this says, does it feel like your dreams have gone up in smoke? Are you overwhelmed or burdened by loss? Remember that new seedlings grow and flourish in the ashes of a spent fire. You must release your passions and your energies, whether or not you want to, whether or not you think you're ready, it's time. The affirmation, I release what is finished and clear the way for rebirth. And then you got the seven of water also on the shadow side in your secondary future position. It says you may feel paralyzed and unable to choose between many options available to you. Choose to take action even if you're uncertain. Making a decision to move forward sets you in motion. You can always change course later, but taking action will break you out of your paralysis. The affirmation, I open my whole heart to my dream. Third card for the future is number one, the magician in the upright, which says, You have the power to manifest your desires. Charisma and personal energy radiate from you. It is your gift to be able to enter sacred space and bring spiritual energy into the world of matter. When you focus your will, your passion, and your joy, creative energy flows through you. It is not enough to have focus and intention. You know these must be followed by action. Your creativity energizes you and blesses those around you. Align yourself with the heartbeat of the earth and bring forth healing for the planet and all her creatures. Make things happen. The soul lesson themes empowerment will focused intent magic creative energy skill ideas become reality <coughs> manifestation okay so jackie <coughs> i just got a thing with the manifestation <coughs> in your present timeline you have to be very careful to guard your thoughts and do not think the negative outcomes always always think the positive outcomes do the journal thing like i've been talking about trying to teach you guys about Write down the situation as you would like to see it happen. Feel the joy. Feel the gratitude for the situation turning out that way. And then let it go to God. Thank you, God, for bringing that to me. <coughs> if you focus on negativities, you're going to make sure that your future is a negative outcome. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Action, ecstasy, yang in contrast to the priestesses, yen. Journal questions. How do I express my own sense of personal power? Where in my life do I need to focus my will and take action? Do I manifest my desires in a responsible way? Do I impose my will upon others? How does magic flow through me? How do I express my creativity? Make sure you're writing these questions down and actually pondering them. Think about the answers. Write down the answers. Meditate on it. When do I feel like I am channeling spiritual energy into a physical form? What is my greatest skill? What skills do I need to improve? What new creative medium might I try? When do I feel like I am aligned with the heartbeat of the earth? What kind of healing does the magician offer me? The affirmation I have the power to manifest my desires. And then the last one from the tarot for your future position is the ace of fire. Ooh, my throat is tickling on this one too. Let me get a drink. All right. <clears throat> you are bursting with new energy. Your sense of self is heightened and you are feeling assertive. You are charged with creativity and can't wait to begin new projects. You may be discovering a new way of expressing your sexuality. You are beginning a transformation of some kind and quite possibly a healing as well. Affirmation, I am ablaze with creativity and passion. Wow. And then you got... <laughs> From the oracle for your future position, you got Archangel, Highest Holy Angel Raphael, the, Arch, the Angel of Healing, which <clears throat> it seems like you've got some stuff you need to work on in order to bring about the highest possible timeline. This one says, this image celebrates our body's ability to follow its divine blueprint to heal and make itself whole. It calls us to step aside and allow the divine to flood us with healing waters on a minute to minute basis. So each cell in our body is as new and pure as the creator intended. Focus on a different organ in your body for a week. 
Focus on each organ for a week. Put healing energy into it. Picture the light flowing in. Seek information about each organ to understand and marvel at how magnificent your body is. Flood each organ with gratitude, love, and appreciation for all that it does. Stay in that frame of mind for as long as you can. Special message. Your body wants you to pay more attention to it. You are being inspired to tune into its signals and address where you're being guided to give a... Oof. Tickle in my throat, Jackie. This is important. Oh, wow. Address where you are being guided to give a little bit more care to that area. It is your earthly vehicle. Take care of it. And then your last oracle card is Life Force. Beginnings is the name of the illustration. <coughs> this is my card for conception, creation. <coughs> Boy, my throat's tickling. This image celebrates the life force within a seed and also to look at our thoughts as seeds. Oh, yeah, what we were just talking about. Negative thoughts turn into negative seeds. It calls us to acknowledge this powerful force that births new life into being as the old falls away. Be mindful of your thoughts. Release an old issue that has burdened or threatened you. The old seed pot or situation must fall away so that the new can come into being. Embrace good change in order to receive the positive outcome that already awaits you. Special message. Necessary change and transformation are lining up in your life. You are being inspired to release the past and all that is keeping you tethered to the situation that is falling away. Break free and be free. So, sounds like you need to make some changes, some healthy changes, some healing needs to be done. There's going to be an ending of some sort you've got to bring yourself to do. I don't know. I don't know what you're dealing with. If it's a human, an addiction, a situation, a bad job, or whatever it is. Definitely need to look at the things that are holding you back in life. Start thinking all the positive thoughts. Keep a dream journal. Keep your gratitude journal. Write down things you're grateful for every night before bed. Bring yourself to the place where you can improve your life to the um, highest possible timeline. Thank you, Jackie. I will see you next time. Sending you all kinds of love. Get out there and love somebody.